Come on. That's how I do it. That's how babies do it. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, and Bobo. Well, they wild. Anyway. Hadn't uh, done just a whole lot this morning. It's been kind of raining off and on. Hadn't got just a, hadn't got really a lot here. Just enough to settle the dust. Finna drank me a monster and uh, pack of knives and a granola bar for lunch. I got a little project we finna work on. I don't know if it's interesting anymore because we've done it a lot, but we're gonna try to get it right this. All right, y'all. So first off, look like I got a little something on my screen. I know y'all are about probably tired of this Stevens 301. I am too. Uh, had some great comments through the two or three videos I've done with it to, you know, move the move the the site down. Uh, I can't move the rail anymore the way it's made. I, ha I may have to see if I can get a shorter rail. I've done food with this thing so much, my mind don't even, is not even operating right anymore on it. I have shimmed it up with the monster can. Oh, in my mind, it's got the dial right there that says up, so you turn it that way to go up on the target. That's my simple mind. Some people are saying I need to go down. But I do know when I followed directions on the side and it said move it left or right, I know that moved it. For some reason, I'm running out of adjustment to uh, move it up. Don't know if it needs to go down, the site needs to go down more. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to do some machining. So, but like I said, we've had uh, it's a lot of good comments in my mind. Like I said, I shouldn't, I don't, I think I should have to follow the directions on the site. I may be dead wrong. I don't have a clue. I am lost. Any of them that I've fooled with before, and I've got one of these on a Frenchie, Franky, whatever you call it, I just followed the, the arrow to move it up or down, and it worked. So, I don't know if this is going to work or not. But I got on Amazon, and I hadn't even fooled with it. This is supposed to go on the rail that I already have there, and then the sights go on top of it. I think this is a half-inch one. I don't know. Like I said, my, I, I'm just I'm just kind of lost for uh, if it's going to work or not. Talk to Slade. If, uh, and I had some people say I needed to shim the back and not the front. I'm not going to say I don't disagree with any of the comments. I just hadn't found anything that works. But the one thing I'm going to do, I talked to Slade. If this right here doesn't work, I'm going to take all my monster can shims out. Put it back just like it came from uh, the store. Put this on it. And if it don't raise it up, and I'm not sure it will or not, <laughs> I'm carrying it back. And we're either going to try a new site or... See if the barrel's bent. I don't know. I love the pattern on it. I've showed y'all that. It's tight. So let's take everything off and start. I do know one thing. I'm about to wear the screws out on this thing. But I do know when I take this thing off and put it back on, it goes back right. First thing I need to do is make sure, and I know it will. I'm almost positive that it will. Make sure this... Shouldn't have to do this. Dad gum, I'm just adding weight. Alright, that will go on that. I don't know. I don't know. All I know to do is try it. That little thing was like ten bucks from Amazon. I'm about ten dollars to death on this unit, especially when you can't find no shells and I'm shooting. Oh, ten dollar a piece shells to sight it in it, it, all the comments in some some part of my mind make sense I'm not saying whew, 
right or wrong on any of this. All I know to do, I got probably bored with it, but somebody may run up on this and and uh, have to do the same. But if this don't get to where I've got some adjustment, I'm hoping it's shooting so high that I got to go back down. I know I got adjustment. I have one comment. Let's see what they say that they had to bottom their side out or or something to make it start moving man i don't know never had to do all that i don't know if i've got this exact side on anything but you know if i the way this thing's contoured to the barrel i realize this may need to be lower i wish my sight would bolt directly to that but it ain't going to. All right, so I got all the shims out. I'm gonna put this rail back on. I'm gonna go ahead and get her tight too, cause I'm hoping at some point we don't have to take it back off. It acts like it ain't wanting to tighten down now. Done moved it so much. All right, that got that. If this does work, I kind of like it because it's gonna it's gonna get it up a little higher where you don't have to get so far down. It actually will probably be uh, pretty comfortable if I get it on there. Didn't I just put this on there a while ago? Oh, I see it ain't, it ain't sliding on it. Now we got her. I don't know if I should put it all the way to the back or I know one thing I can see my bead under it and I think that's what they kind of made for they make some that's even higher than this like for ARs and stuff I do kind of like it just kind of know you got to get down I can see my bead through there Boy, them horse flies and deer flies have been rough. That's why I'm out here in the sun and not in the shade. Get in the shade and they will tear your butt up. Boy, this is a contraption. I'm going for lightweight and we steadily adding to it, ain't we? Put that unit right there in the middle like so. I'm going to test something here in just a second. I think I can get a a little idea of something here in just a, just a second. Golly. All right, so cut this side on I know this ain't a good way to do it but put that bead right there I'm not sure how much kind of hard to tell what I was trying to do is look under it and put the bead on something if I was in a in a uh, vice it'd probably be more accurate but I know I got to get way to shoot down the barrel I'd have to be way down here I'm not sure all I know to do is we're going to have to 
try it. Tell you what, through this process, I've, I've figured out, I think, how to operate the sight, that's for sure. We are going to figure it out. This series we call the 301 Challenge. I do like that. Let me see. I mean, you are, I'm so high now, you sure ain't down on the barrel. Wish I could do that better. That's probably a better gauge right there. I don't think I've done nothing, y'all. I'm gonna be quite honest. Somebody's gonna have to send us a box of shells for all this, though. Golly. All I know to do is test it. All right, so I got a brand new box of these TSS Apex Ninjas. Nine and a half, three inch shells. And I did something a little different this time. I put the target at uh, about 10 yards, maybe a little less. I wanna see it exactly where we're at and if we've done anything i hope i missed the whole target high because i got room to go down i have run out of adjustments going up so i don't know i'm just being very open about this that i have gotten lost on this thing but we're fixing to figure something out i think Light blowing smoke out of that thing. All right. So same thing, y'all. Same thing. I went ahead and drew me a circle right here. I am to the center. Y'all can see the pattern. Still, I'm gonna say that much, that much low. Ah, so aggravating, so aggravating. All right, so I had one comment, I think they said to. They had to go bite bottom their dial out to make their sight start moving. So I am right now on the dial all the way, I'm about done stripped it out, all the way up. So I am fixing to go all the way down. goodness at the turns all right that's all the way down it's got a bunch of adjustment said they had to move it all the way one way and then come back the other way and it, the dot started moving so I just went all the way down and I'm gonna come all the way back up Now, God, 
Golly, this is tough on this. High as these things are. You know, I don't think the barrel's bent. It's very consistent what it's doing. It just, the gun is, and the sight's not moving. Because I have, trying to think if I shot it without the sight at all on it. Let's see what this does. All right, let's try it again. Still on. I shouldn't have to have a vice to do this right here with a shotgun. It's in the same spot, I'm pretty sure. Cut this thing off before I forget. What wrong one? I ought to know by now. Ah, this is about to get aggravating. All right. So I put my dot right there and ever how far that is i mean you're talking about an awesome pattern but that's too low that's four inches low same thing as here center here it's like shooting a slug right there ain't it all right y'all so i guess i'm being hard-headed i took my riser that i put on there off put it back where it came shimming none of that made a difference so had one comment or two and man i just don't think you should have to but i'm not gonna say we don't you know on like a a bow sight you chase it if you're shooting low you aim low or move your sight down to pick your bow up so this, the little sight itself attaches to this other rail, which attaches to that rail. So do y'all think if I raise the back of that, it's going to drop the dot and I got to raise the gun. It's got four little pegs that the sight sits on. And I mean, I'm up pretty doggone high right there. I'm going to go as high as I can with the back, tighten it back down, and shoot it. That's all I know to do. This is pretty aggravating, but it's a really cheap shotgun, which they could something could have happened, but it's very consistent. I mean, we just hadn't moved the sight. So that's the only thing I hadn't took apart and tried. So I'm going to study on this a little bit. I want it to be able to stay solid if we get it right. But I just, I, in my mind, I don't think this is going to work. But if it does, I don't care. My mind ain't got to be right. I just got to make sure I, sh I shim it where I can be solid. Whoop. All right, y'all. So here's what I did. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. It's got two little bolts in the center of the site the the site itself that bolts to the rail it's got I should have showed y'all it's got four little pegs two in the back two in the front and this the site sits over it and I have shimmed it in the back and I got a crack I can about stick my fingernail through the back Front, front's flush, back is up. And when I put it like I was doing a while ago, by golly, I think we might be on to something here. And I may be, I may not be, I don't know. 
I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and add another one back there. I want to see it move if it moves, by golly, don't we? We want to see it move. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and put another one in the back. I can easily stick my fingernail in that back, and it's solid in the front. It's got them pegs in there that the sight sits on. I'm a, I might could go a little bit higher, but I, them pegs are, you know, made to hold it solid on there. I don't know, y'all. I just really don't know. I'm still at uh, about 10 yards, maybe a little less. Man, if this don't move it some, if I could see some movement, I'd be happy that we was doing something. But I hadn't seen any movement yet. That's thirty dollars worth. By golly, it's closer. I may have pulled that far, but we uh, golly. All right, there's. I need a tape measure. Let's just use my pinky. I don't know. It's moved it. I just don't know if I got enough to uh, get it any more. Golly, I'm going to have to try it. I may have pulled that a little bit, but I'm going to have to try it again. I might see if I can get any more in the back. Whoever said I had to shim the back and may have been exactly right. That's definitely definitely i'm almost 100 percent sure closer i might have to try it one more time i'm gonna stick all the shims i can in the back without it not being able to stay on there solid all right y'all so this is i went extreme this time i don't know if y'all can see that but it is way high in the back I just don't, I don't know, I don't like it, but if it works, it works, just, I wish somebody from Vortec was sitting here with me where they could tell me what's going on, we're going to try it again. Expensive, y'all. If we get it right, though, it'll be good. I want to hunt with it. All right, let's see if we did any good this time. getting somewhere yep all right so I understand what I've been doing I'm a little left but look here y'all that is I was putting here and why everything I'm doing is bound to be move last two shots has been left we'll move it right by golly we are there's this that's gonna be the center so I went kind of extreme. I need to come back, take about two shims out, and move it to the right a little bit. Man, we might get this thing, y'all. 
Heikkiä. All right, so here's what I decided to do. Since we're high now, I decided to adjust on the sight. Hadn't been able to go down with it. So uh, left my shims in there, made sure everything was tight, and went down with the sight and moved it to the right just a little bit. So who knows? I feel like we're making some ground now. Let's see. Alright, I'm still on. Alright, that's gone. Well, it moved it a little bit. I'll tell you what I'm finna do. I'm finna take a couple of shims out and get it back down there closer. Man, we're gonna shoot this whole box of shells fooling with this doggone thing. But we are definitely getting closer to that dot. Alright y'all, I was fixing to say this thing's getting pretty serious, but this is past serious. This has done got the plum hard headedness here now. It's probably five or ten minutes between each shot while I'm tuning on it. I took, I decided to not turn. I'm not sure the adjustment for the up and down is not working at all. But the left and right does. I don't know. Something something seems to not be operating right. But I took two shims out of the back now. And it's almost back down on them two pigs. All I know to do now is keep shooting until I run out of shells and figure it out. I don't know. It's about ready to send her back. But I'm not too hard-headed for that. We still on there? Oh, i got to get my earplugs much as we shoot and I don't need to do that. My ear's already bad enough. But I'm gonna have to have a new target. goodness y'all oh my goodness oh my goodness now we're getting somewhere now we are getting somewhere I went too far I went a big move of course when you're taking the sight on and off instead of just turning it I need to go back left a little bit. The next one I shoot, I'm gonna probably do about 30, just to see. I'm going left a little bit. We on the money there. I have my dot right there. We getting there now, y'all. Hot dog. All right, y'all. This has turned into the most expensive shotgun. I have ever bought. Look at this. This is just today. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. They ain't quite that much. That's six TSS today. God. All right. I am going for broke that we got it. Making sure everything's tight i've got the target at 20 i think i did 25. check everything and i'm hoping 
I'm on. It's going to be worth it before it's over with. I'm just glad we're getting some movement finally. Some movement out of the gun. That thing started full. She's about out. It'll be worth it. Maybe when we get done. Got a smidge on my sight. Sweat on my shirt. Alright, got that, got that. I had to pull my glasses up. Y'all see me adjusting on my glasses. From time to time to make sure I can see right. All right, 25 yards. Hopefully, this is the last one. 25 to 25 yards. Old barrel done got to where it don't want to open. <sighs> I am so much better, y'all. I mean, up and down is perfect. I just need to come back to the left just a little bit, and I'm going to let her ride. I think we finally got it. There's a lot of pellets in that noggin compared to where we were. That's still a tight pattern at 25. Very tight. I'm going to move her to the left some and I'm going to be done. Alright y'all, so I couldn't stand it. I went and moved it to the left and it's responding. I need to move it just a tick more. But I had my sight right there on the dot. I am Pretty doggone good right there. I'm going to move it just a little bit to the left, and I am done. Done with this thing, finally. So finally, finally, after that, I bet we've shot that thing 20 times or more, 8 or 9 today. Finally got the little Stevens 301 sighted in. Might be the most expensive shotgun ever. Golly. But whoever commented that I needed to go up or down with the front of the site, and I had thought about getting a, one of them angle Picatinny rails, and that probably would have been the ticket too. But y'all win the prize. Appreciate the comment. I don't like bad comments, but I like comments with ideas. Because, boy, we sure needed them on that project. But thank y'all. Y'all win the prize. But anyway, i going to put everything up. I'm about wore out from fooling with the... Food on this thing is hot and humid. I am leaking. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.